everybody, JJ White, White Property Detailing, wearing the, hat, the company logo. Uh, this is primarily just for the Lawn Pros uh, page. I just want to, somebody was asking about homemade uh, lawn stripers. Uh, I'm not going to say I'm the only one in this area that does it, but I was pretty much one of the first ones to ever do it. I had people tell me, your blades are bent, your lawnmower is offset. <laughs> it's like, no, it's, it's striping. Uh, I've tried all of the dragging chains, dragging the welcome mat, dragging a dog house, dragging everything and uh, there was always problems with it, you know, insofar as even when you try and back up. I just watched a video there with uh, Seth the Lawn Surgeon. I had the exact same thing. I had a piece of uh, steel pipe riveted onto the uh, rubber flap. I backed up, that thing got caught under, whacked a blade potential and I said okay there's got to be a better way so uh, just applying the science of what striping actually does you know bending the grass the light reflecting bends the grass reflects on the tips uh, just just uh, applying that that knowledge I came up with a couple ideas of what I consider my own so if you'll uh, bear with me I'll uh, show you just come on over here take a look at my uh, Trusty lawn boy, don't laugh. This crap, this this shit little lawnmower has served me so well. I lay down awesome stripes. You can see it on my Facebook page. Uh, it works. There's no gadgets. There's no self-drive. This thing works. And uh, after, if the next one I buy is anything like this, it'll be the best 250 bucks I ever spent. Anyways, back to the striping. Um, essentially, I'll just show you down here what I have. Get my uh, trusty assistant here. Uh, what this is here, oh, I don't really like to tip this over. Come on in, come on in nice and close. What I have right here is a simple broom. It's a broom. It's on an articulating mount right here. There's a bolt here, bolt over there. Uh, most of us are pretty good with a welder and uh, nuts and bolts. So this thing here is free to, uh, to articulate. What I have here is a broom and I welded myself up a little frame, bought an axle or a piece of half inch whatever pipe. These are uh, boat rollers that you get at what we call Princess Auto, where all that Chinese crap comes from. Maybe you guys call it Tractor Supply, Americans. Anyway, two uh, boat rollers, uh, actually three. And you can see here that uh, when the whole system's together, okay, it's free to uh, bounce up over any bumps, it's light. Uh, when I go over a lawn, it gets cut, the crop gets blown out, it gets groomed by a brush, and it gets rolled by these rollers. Uh, it's, it's actually happening twice, okay? I, I know that doing it with a lawn, with a mat or whatever actually works, but if you guys try this, uh, you'll be very impressed with it. Uh, I made it go right to the wheel marks, so the tire marks actually disappear. So there's, you know, when you look at people's striped lawns, you always see the tire marks. That's gone. Now, all those, this is only a 20 inch. When I pick up a, a 30 inch Turfmaster or whatever, I'll be doing the same thing. Uh, that probably cost me whew, 30 bucks in a half day, if that. You know, it's a broom and a couple of rollers, some steel little bit of time with the MIG welder. All right, what I'm gonna show you now is my zero turn. Seeing how well this worked, I thought, man, I can do the same thing. Something that's always frustrated me with the striping kits was that tire marks were always left. So bear with me and I'll show you the system I came up with this for my uh, zero turn. You can see here, this is a 54 inch Toro whatever ZX. 54.50, okay, it's a uh, it's good solid machine. Um, this is what I've taken those same principles and applied that to this mower here. So there's uh, uh, two 24 inch brooms and a six inch broom. It goes uh, blade tip to blade tip. Uh, yeah, just about. So it, it's completely covered. Uh, this is a chunk of steel. I drilled a hole through there, put the bolts under the deck, a uh, couple of washers on it just to space it out. It interferes with nothing. Nothing's in the way. 
So this here is a broom. Now, uh, I'll just show you right here. Ooh. God, it shouldn't be lifting this shit. Uh, um, you can see there, the bottom of the deck, you got those two skids. So this, the broom bristles are about a half inch below the steel of the deck. Um, brooms seem to last forever, as long as you're not scooting up and down pavement. Um, but again, this really grooms the lawn well. Okay. So, of course it gets cut. Uh, the broom hits it. Then, what I built over here, get my uh, trusty assistant to come over here. My lawnmower's on a bit of an angle, so just bear with me. Again, these here are more boat rollers. Um, let me lower this down for you. There. Now, again, another axle, a uh, little bit of welding, two existing holes in the frame. That's free to move on its own. Uh, again, these are uh, boat rollers I got from Princess Auto. Now, what this effectively does is gets rid of the tire marks because after everything's been cut, it gets broomed. These two big tires like to leave two prominent tire marks. So what this does is it, and this thing's heavy enough. I mean, when this rolls over it, those tire marks are gone. So, um, of course, when I lift the deck, that goes up too. And if you can just come over here, Josie. Show them just how we did this. Okay, uh, you know what they say, whatever works. Uh, there's a bolt on there, some, not clothesline, but aircraft cable shit. A little pulley, uh, runs all the way up to here, and it's uh, bolted onto an existing hole here. So, you see there, you don't really notice the weight of that at all. I mean, that unit itself is pretty heavy. You can see what it's made out of. Of course, the only downfall with this is if ever you have to, uh, say, back out of a ditch, you really have to make sure that that's up. And uh, sometimes I actually have to get off the machine and, well, it's not doing it now, but uh, lift it up and set it on here. I don't know why that's not going there. Okay, so, uh, to answer the question, yes, uh, homemade striping kits, uh, I think they're a lot better. You can tweak them for exactly what you want, and if you uh, just apply a little ingenuity, you're going to save yourself the hundreds of dollars that uh, these Toro clowns want to sell this crap to you for. Alright, once again, JJ White, uh, White Property Detailing, uh, thanks for watching.